I love this paper. I mean, it was just so was fun to read. Fun. And I and and having this conversation, it really gets your mind working of like, you know, it's bringing you back to old immunology lessons and, and then uh, <laughs> helping frame new frameworks. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I think when I read it the first time, I went walking up and down the hallway and I was like, did you guys see this paper? <laughs> I'm like, I, I feel like this is rewriting the textbook. I feel like I'm going crazy. true. <laughs> what am I missing? Why is this not in like the top three journals? So there, I feel like I must be missing something. Yeah, so I, that is always interesting, right? Because, you know, for those, uh, well, if you're in academia and you're in academic science, you know, this is true, but like probably this maybe started up at nature, but you know, if your reviewer is a closed model, dogmatic person, it might be very difficult to convince them that this is true. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and oftentimes because those people are topic experts, they get asked to review said yes. papers. So you might be fighting that battle. It's hard to change the field. I mean, it is, it, you really have to have a lot of evidence to change what is what we know to be true. 